Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. So today I have with me a very exciting guest, and that is Sue Hope, a founder of Notary Assist and also a notary public. She's been a notary public for a long time. And Notary Assist is a, the company I've been looking for. I've been waiting to get somebody on my channel who can just help people navigate all of the just like write-offs and bookkeeping when it comes to notary stuff for so long and haven't found anybody until... We actually uh, kind of met at the Ron Toberfest that Destiny put on, and I saw Notary Assist do a demo. I saw Sue do a demo on Notary Assist, and I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. So I had to get her on the channel to talk about the software that she's created, and just to tell you more, because I think it's just going to be such a beneficial tool. tool. So Sue, thank you so much for being here. Uh, tell Good. us about yourself. Introduce thank yourself. You. Introduce oh my gosh. Product. Karen, it was so fun to meet you at Ron Toberfest. It was great. And I'm so excited to be here. So thank you very for much for having me. So, oh gosh, a little bit about me. So um, I became a notary in-house. I was an in-house notary public. I didn't know that there was even a way to make money outside of, you know, my job, my nine to five um, until I left that job. And I took my, my bag and my commission, my stamp with me, and it promptly went into the closet. Okay. So I didn't do anything with it until I had a nice lady come in um, who helped us refinance our property and she was a notary. She, so we made the appointment and of course I got everything laid out and I had everything ready. And I was just like, well, I'm a notary too. You know, I was all excited and I was trying to bond <laughs> with this nice lady. And she's like, why are you not doing this? And I'm like, what do you mean? Do what? And so she was telling me and showed me pretty much what we could do as leveraging for making a, a business. And I was like, oh my gosh, well, she was my mentor before mentors were cool and popular. And so she took me under her wing. She taught me a ton. She was an escrow officer herself and was doing this on the side and she needed help getting all of the clients taken care of. So I actually just worked for her. So it wound up being fantastic. And that's how I got started. But I quickly realized that there was so much that goes on to running a business than what's at the signing table. We have to know not only our local state laws, we have to keep up with our commissions, our E&O insurance, all that just to get to the table. But that's the table. Everything before or after that is so much. So Notary Assist was developed because there was nothing for me to get my head around juggling my calendar, my mileage, my expenses, my, you know, my appointment, who paid me, who hadn't paid me. I was pulling my hair out. I was double booking myself. That was stressing me out. So the only other thing that was around was like Peachtree. Okay, I'm dating, I'm dating myself now. So Peachtree, QuickBooks, and I am not an accountant. I am not a CPA. It just went right over my head. I wanted something simple, powerful, and something that would help me look professional. I was trying to be a professional in this industry and I wanted it. I wanted to take my business there. So Notary Assist was developed out of a necessity. And I just happen to be married to an incredibly talented software man. <laughs> so he actually took my need and he built me a little tool that we'll call Alpha 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 back in the day. I mean, he built me a little tool to use and I probably used that for a couple of years. And I was like, I saw an article come out from the National Notary Association and it said there were 4.1 million notaries in the United States. I was like, whoa, that's a lot of notaries. And I was just like, if they're struggling with the same thing I'm struggling with, we've got to do something. And I just wound up finding um, the National Notary Association had a conference in 2007. And I signed up for a, a booth to just show my software off and, or well, his software, because it was, <laughs> he made it for me. And when I told him, I called him and I told him that, and he goes, wait, what? You're, you just, I, we're, this isn't ready. This is not ready for like, purchase software, I, you go, I have to do a lot more things. What you have is like, you know, rug rats. I love that story. I love that. <laughs> I love when stuff is built out of necessity. And then you're like, actually, if I need it, other people probably need it too. Like, that's actually how I started like talking about Ron videos on my channel. Cause I'm like, if I don't know the information, there's a chance other people don't know either. I love right. it. 
and I'm also married to a software engineer. So now I'm just like, okay, it's time to get ready. Like we got to <laughs> build. <laughs> spirits, I'm telling you. <laughs> we got to build something here soon. That's incredible. Um, now I wanted to ask, so you talked about there's a lot that goes on to running a business, right? And there's a lot to wrap your head around. And you're talking about like tax season. And I know you're not a CPA or, or anything like that, but how, do you, how does notary assist really help people maximize their returns? Yeah, exactly. Right. There's so many things like I left so much money on the table my first few years of just running myself as Sue Hope no mobile notary, um, not to mention notary assist. I mean, that's a whole different thing. But I mean, me as my own individual self, I started as Sue Hope mobile notary and nobody tells you you have to think of things like how are you going to get paid? Are you going to do business as yourself or are you going to do business as a corporation? Um, and there's no wrong way to do it. It just comes with different ramifications. So there's lots of things that you have to put into place. So you just have to make sure whatever I decide, whatever path I decide to go on, you're prepared. I was not prepared. I wang it and I'm left a lot of things. I didn't know that all of my, all the expenses that I had to get my commission to do my oath of office, my bond. All of these are expenses. I didn't record those my first year. I didn't even realize it. I was just thinking, oh, I've got to get my commission and I've got to, you know, in order for me to start making money, I have to get my commission. So I was thinking, get my checklist done. I wasn't thinking, oh, but these are all tax benefits for me. I wasn't thinking that way. So from the minute you decide to do a business, whether it's notary or anything, you almost quickly have to put a business hat on and start recording all these things. So notary assist will help you organize all of these things. And it helps you ask questions to yourself. Is this, did I travel to go buy pens? Well, now not only am I buying the pen, but the the mileage that I drove to buy those pens is a tax deduction. So it does. it's not just the receipt. It's the mileage to go get that as well. So it starts provoking that thought process on what to do. That's step A. It also helps you organize your calendar. I was double booking myself like crazy. And that makes you pull your hair out, especially with it. I was a young mom at the time. My kids were needing pickup days. And I was like, oh, yeah, I just said that I was going to be somewhere at this time. And I'm supposed to be in the line picking up the kids. So I'm like, OK, that's bad. But a little known thing that a lot of notaries forget is that because we're commissioned by our state and our state regulates how much we charge as a notary, we get a tax benefit federally for that. So when we file our taxes, if the state of California says you can charge X, that X is self-employment tax exempt. Now I'm talking a little bit high end here, but this is a savings that might be hugely beneficial to notaries. And it's something that only a few um, occupations have in the country. I think it's us farmers and clergy. So it's very unique. It's very diverse. It's very unique to our niche. And we want to make sure we capitalize that. I love that you talked about everything that you could kind of like write off and keep in mind. But a big focus of my channel is remote online notarizations. So do you feel like notary assist is also good for remote online notaries? Absolutely. I mean, you have the same um, pain points as regular notaries. You just do everything remotely. And not only that, but you also have even more expenses than what a traditional notary has. So you have the cost of all the different platforms that you might participate with. You've got to keep track of what do they charge you? How much do they charge you for each time? So if there's a fee, if there's a monthly fee, if there's an annually fee, annual fee, but also each session, does each session have a fee? So we can help you keep track of all of that. And we even can, you can actually, we actually have settings inside of Notary Assist where you can actually turn on or off if you're in person versus a RON. So if you're in person, you need to track your mileage to and from the signing location. But if you're a RON, you can turn that off. We're not going to ask you how many miles because you didn't drive anywhere. Unless, of course, you drove to your office to do, to do RON work. And then that sometimes is your trip too. So we're going to help give you settings. Also, in addition to that, the fees associated for your self-employment tax 
we have a setting that's called manual. If we're if it's automatic, you're almost always in person. If you're in manual mode, you're a RON, which means you can actually leverage, let's say an in-person notarization in the state of Oregon might be $10, whereas a RON notarization is 25. So we want to leverage the maximum, the maximized discount if you're leveraging your self-employment tax. So we're going to ask you specific questions so that you can maximize your benefits. So yes, absolutely, we can help you. I love that. And I want to make sure that I touch on it's it was something that was mentioned in the uh, Ron Toberfest one, or actually, I think I watched a demo that you went through and you talked about the fact that it's not only notary stuff that you can track with the notary assist. There's other stuff, people who do like fingerprinting, people who do, you know, apostates, people who do a bunch of stuff. So just to make sure it's not just the notary space, it's other things as well that people can track, right? It, it started as the notary space, but as we've evolved it, notaries are doing so much. I mean, they're leveraging their commission. Look, we're already vetted. We're already background screened. We're Sometimes we have bonds, depending on your state. It opens the door for other revenue streams because we've already been vetted. Sometimes we're exam proctors. Sometimes we're wedding officiants. Sometimes we're fingerprinters. Sometimes we're um, permit runners or field inspections. There's a ton of stuff that notaries are doing. So as Notary Assist was started, it started as a notary-based client, but now we're kind of evolving because notaries are evolving. So now we've talked with all the tax professionals that we work with so that we stay compliant. When we ask them, hey, notaries are generating revenue from all these different paths, what, what can we do? And they said, well, you have to keep everything separate. Mm -hmm. So what Notary Assist is, which is unique to this space, is if you have revenue from your notary work, you can keep it separate from your revenue for your fingerprinting work or your wedding efficient work or any other services that you might offer. So you can actually run reports for your notary work and you can run reports for any other revenue stream that you have. And we can track it all. I love a one-stop shop. I truly do. <laughs> and you you mentioned something. You, you mentioned you have, you know, tax people that you work with and they make sure you stay compliant. So I wanted to ask that. Things in the yeah. notary landscape change all the time, as you know, laws, things you can write off, things, et cetera. How do you guys stay abreast of like all the different changes? I am on, I, well, first of all, I'm a notary. So I, I, I stay in the community. I still notarize today. And I want to do that because I want to be hands-on. Mm -hmm. That gives us a unique understanding of what the notaries are going through. But not only that, I'm a part of different associations across the country. So whether it's the National Notary Association or a state association. Um, there's the California League of Independent Notaries that keep up on all the laws that are affecting the notary community. Mm -hmm. We want to stay involved, but then that's one side of it. That's the notary side of it. Then you tiptoe over to the business side of it, and we're working with how to keep our site secure. How do we constantly update so that we're bringing fresh um, technology to our users all the time for the least amount of money. Our goal is to have amazing tech at the lowest price, but we're constantly going to different conferences and um, networking events. We're collaborating with other people. Why? Because we want to know, and we also work really closely with our users. We give we get feedback from our users, which is incredibly helpful. It helps us focus on, hey, if you had that idea, I bet other people had that idea. And not everybody's going to send us an email. But if you send us feedback and like, hey, Sue, this is great, but it would be awesome if we could have a mobile app. Well, guess what? You guys all asked about a mobile app and I'm trying to bring up my phone. There we go. And so now we have a mobile app, too. So we love development. We're a, we're a development company in addition to being notary specific. So. Yeah. Uh, but my last question before we get into the demo is what is your favorite feature of Notary Assist? Ooh, okay. So this is probably more so for our the traditional in person. And I'm a California notary, so we don't get to do Ron. I mean, yeah, it's I'm coming. Bummed. It's coming. I'm so bummed. It's coming. I mean, I'm hoping, you know, that it's gonna yeah. be sooner than 30 years. But you know, hey, <laughs> we've I'm got we're starting. We're starting, you know. But one of my favorite features is as somebody who tackles a lot of loan signings, who also does um, estate planning packets, mm -hmm. a lot of times I'm shipping documents. Or if you do apostees, yeah. if you're an apostee agent, you might be shipping documents. So one of the features that I love in our mobile app, we leverage the camera. By doing so, mm -hmm. we can actually scan a barcode. So you can actually scan a barcode with your notary, notary assist app 
it will automatically put in that UPS or FedEx or DHL. If there's a barcode, it'll scan it in. That's incredible. Yeah, it just turns to like a live tracking link, essentially. So you can exactly. scan it, put it. And I like that you don't have to manually put it in because like some of these are like 17 digits long. Oh, like, my yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah. It's far too long. That's, that's I mean, cool. and that's just one of my favorite features. And that's just one of the simple, it's more simple. I'll share you this one. It's our auto import feature. So what that means is if you have a digital confirmation, if you've got an email, you can actually email that confirmation and it doesn't have to be just loan signings. It can be a hospital appointment. It can be um, an attorney appointment. It can be an adoption. It can be a, a, a refinance. If you forward that email to import at notaryassist.com, notaryassist is going to try and harvest all the important data points out of it, like the date, the time, the location, who's the signer, um, and how, what your fee is going to be, how long it might be. We're going to try and grab all that information mm. and auto import that for you. Because one of the other big pain points that our notaries say is that they just don't have time to do the data entry. Yeah. So this helps basically become the digital assistant. Notary assist is the assistant. It's entering the data for you. You just have to do a couple of little checks to make sure it's all correct. And in it is. Okay. So now we're going to get into a demo of what notary assist looks like. So I'm excited to see all the features and see how different Rons can kind of use the software. So I will let you go ahead and just share your screen. So the first thing you're going to see when you get into notary assist is you're going to see your dashboard. So we get around the software. We tried to make it super easy to navigate. We wanted this to be comfortable from the, the novice computer user all the way up to an expert user. We launched this in 07. So it's changed a lot and been modified more multiple times. I mean, when we first launched it, it was on a CD. I don't even think computers have a CD drive anymore. So <laughs> Now it's all in the cloud and we love uh, where it's come. So to get in, you land on your dashboard. It's gonna give you a visual profit and loss. This is Jane. Jane Notary has been with us for many, many years as we've done demos across the country. On the top, it's gonna be the number of signings or the number of dollars that you've made. You can switch this around and you can see how much. By hovering over, it'll give you the opposite total. So that's kind of a nice quick way to see what your revenue is. And then down below in a pie chart is going to be all the different expense type categories that you have selected for your business. And it'll give you a pie chart. So this is your visual profit and loss or your visual ability to see what your health of your business is. Now, Notary Assist has all sorts of different features. They're all listed along the left margin, and this is how you activate each one of them. Now, this is going to be the computer version. The web, the mobile app version is laid out slightly differently. It is a native app, and it's made to fit on those little bitty four-inch, five-inch, six-inch screens. So it will be laid out slightly differently, but the information that's in the web is available on the mobile device, your mobile devices, with the exception of all the reporting. Reporting is only on the computer and that's because your eyes would go absolutely crazy. So let's focus on the uh, web app for right now. Something that's unique to us is the business center. We launched this actually about a year and a half ago. It's the way that we actually can help notaries tra um, track all different revenue streams. So if you click on the business center, you'll see that there are two different types. There's the business profile, which is what you can set up and customize and tailor for your specific notary business. And then there's business analytics behind what those services are. So if you are a notary that takes care of multiple things, you're going to want to visit the business center. And in the business center, it's going to take a second to pop open. You're going to see that we offer loan signing work. We also offer specialty general notary work. And then this is the other category. So like we were talking about earlier, any different type of revenue stream that you may offer, you can track independently from your notary business. You can set up anything. We give you suggestions in each category. There's no limit to how many you can have in each category, but we break it down into three categories to make it simple. So you can actually tailor this way down to the minute. We tried to give... Um, the notaries, the ability to, to really maximize or optimize their calendar. So for every service that you offer, if you come across, you're going to actually be able to see there's a default fee. 
If you have your fee schedule set up, you can actually set your default fees and your default duration. Now this is gonna help you optimize your calendaring. If you share your calendar with sometimes, sometimes there's signing services, sometimes there's attorney's offices. If they see that you have a Google calendar that you share with them, if, you, if they see that there's an opening in your calendar, they're just gonna drop in an appointment with you. This will help you optimize and pad your calendar properly so you don't double book yourself. So you can actually tailor however long you would like, because some appointments are going to take 15 minutes, others are going to take two hours. It's just however it works. Sometimes you don't know in advance, but you can try. Default fees, you can set your default fees. If there's something that you offer that we don't have in our list of suggestions, you can always create a custom type for any category. So you can select a new type of work. The first question it's going to ask is what category do you want it to be in? Do you want it to be in loan signings? Do you want it to be in specialty or do you want it to be in other? And then you can create your own category. Type it, call it whatever you want. It's as you, you notary assist understands that your business is as unique as your own fingerprint. So you can build this however works best for you. So for your RON communities, you can actually say RON or R-O-N affidavit. Ron um, Apostille, you could say Ron uh, Certification of Health or Wellness. When you've got international travelers here that have a pension overseas, sometimes they need to make sure that that person is healthy and still able to get their pension. You can create any list of documents that you want or whatever you provide. Once you build out your custom list, it's there for you throughout the software. So by stopping into the business center first, you're able to tailor every service that you offer. Jane is mostly in person because Jane works in California. Sorry. So <laughs> we don't have a lot of Ron in here. We need to add them. But for what I would recommend is if you're a Ron person and you want to be very, very detail oriented, I would almost recreate however many services you do in person. I would create another one as Ron and you, you can do that. Now, if you're a complete Ron person and you never do in person, you don't have to allocate because you know everything that you do is Ron. So if it makes sense to you, then it's gonna make sense in your books. So we're making this as simple as possible. Now, I've had notaries go, Sue, this is awesome, but I am not that detail-oriented. I do not want to know how many reverse mortgages I did. I just want to know how many loan signings I did. And I don't care if it's a commercial real estate property or an investment property. I just want it. No problem. We've got you covered for that. You just turn this on, this general loan signing work, turn all the other ones off, and you can have it super simple. General notary work loan signing work. Done. You don't have to be really detailed, but it's here if you want it. So that's where Notary Assist breaks apart and really helps you focus on what is important for your business. Once you've filled all of these, these sections out, it actually comes into play when you're making your expenses, for example. So you're going to see all these categories. I'm kind of jumping a little quickly because we have a little bit of about a time today. But if you go into your expenses and you're trying to record an expense, you can actually add an expense and you're going to see what type of work is this for. So you can actually now see your list that you just created in the business center. All of those services are going to be available to you. So if you want to allocate a cost to a specific expense, let's say you do Apostee and you need to send documents to New York to get a courier to walk them into the Secretary of State's house or the Secretary of State's office. You have to pay the courier, but you also have to pay the Secretary of State. So now you can actually tailor your expense and you can put in specific expenses for a specific appointment, which is completely unique. So if you need to add an, at any kind of expense, you would add it here. If you need to add an expense, specifically to a type of appointment, you're gonna actually add it in your appointments. So inside of signings, I can actually pull up, Jane's only got information in 2021. So let's say I've already entered an appointment for Mr. and Mrs. Jones, it was a refinance. 
But let's say I had to park in a parking structure to go to this particular appointment. I can add parking to this particular appointment. I can add the courier to that particular appointment. I can add a notary. Let's say I subbed it out. I was hired, but I couldn't do it. I wound up working with another notary. I can now sub this expense out tied to this appointment. So I might have made a little bit of money, but I'm giving most of it to my notary who actually did it. So this, there, there are so many ways that you can actually tailor notary assist for whatever appointment issues are going to come up or expenses are going to come up. So now you can see how you can tie everything together and you'll be able to see profit and loss by appointment. So here's another feature that we have. If this is a RON appointment, you can simply turn this off. If you noticed before, this is where we're tied to Google. So for those notaries that are watching this, that I go and I do in person as well as I do Ron, if you start typing in, it's going to be powered by Google. It's going to find the address that you're looking for. You select it from the drop down box, it's going to automatically populate this entire address section for you. So you don't have to manually type it all in. But if you're meeting Mr. Jones on a RON, you just simply turn this off and it's not gonna worry about the mileage. But if you have to calculate mileage or if you have to get mileage for each appointment, you can easily do so. If you don't, you just simply turn it on or turn it off depending on what service you're offering. Another feature about RONs that you might wanna worry about is tracking. And we kind of talked about how we could scan the barcode in. So here's where that would come into handy. Now, when you're on your web app, you're not gonna be able to see that barcode scanning feature, but when you're on your mobile app, you will in this section. So you could actually send the documents via UPS, FedEx, DHL, however you, whatever you use to ship your documents, you can add as many to this list as you want. This is all customizable depending upon your location. Some places like California has California overnight too. So you can actually add some of these smaller trackings here. But let's say, hey, I actually dropped the documents off with the client or back to escrow, or I left them with the client. You can actually add these types of situations right here too. So we know that you didn't go anywhere. It didn't send anything. So it's okay. It's just something to help you remember should you ever be audited from that appointment. It's kind of your memory bank right here, just being stored and backed up so that Nothing can happen to it. Documents and notarial acts. Documents is a free field. Notaries are encouraged to use this field however it's gonna benefit them the most. Some notaries use this for the number of pages they might have to print or upload. Other notaries are gonna use this for the number of certificates they had to fill out because in depending on the states, every state's different. So this is just kind of, again, a memory bank. This is gonna be for your information only. It's not going on any report. But the notarial act, that's the one that's tied to your self-employment tax. So if you are providing four notarial acts, that's how many you would put in there. OK, so if you had to, whatever you need to do for tracking, this is going to be here. Now, for RONs, you're going to have a third category that's going to say notarial value. And what does that mean, Sue? Well, notarial value is going to be the number of notarial acts you performed multiplied by your state's max dollar amount. So if you're doing a RON in Oregon or in Florida, and normally if it's in person, it's $10, you would just have to do the notary the, the math and said, I did five notarial acts on a RON, it's 25. So now instead of it being $50, it's now 125. So you just have to tell us the notarial value. Notary Assist will do the math the rest of the way through the, the software. So we'll have a third box here that says manual and it'll say notarial value. Now, don't get confused. Notarial value is not what you were paid for the appointment. It's the notarial value only of what could have been charged at that particular appointment. You may have done something for $75 but the notarial value was 125. So 
this is all part of the reporting. And this is something that you can, we can get into um, at a later date. We can go in, maybe I'll come back and we'll do a whole tax one. And that's so exciting. I can talk notary that all day. Great. But... We should. <laughs> so that's where you would record all this stuff. Now, this gives you the ability to invoice. Now, depending on your client, you may need to do an invoice. Notary Assist allows you to build an invoice in-house. You can actually see a summary of the invoice. If you come up here, if you click on the little invoice button, you can do a print preview. What does it look like? What is it? What am I sending to my client? It's going to be a basic invoice. It's going to have your logo up here. It's going to have your address and it's going to have a basic signing fee. Whoa. Hey, Sue, I have to break out how many notarial acts I performed. I can't just say signing fee in my state. No problem. We got you covered too. We know Colorado is one of those states. You have to break it out. So you can add a line item. You can change this $100 fee and you can make this whatever you need. You can say notarial value or notarial fee. And that's going to be what? Four times whatever. And that's your notarial fee. And then if there was a convenience fee, a rush fee, a print fee, maybe you had to email the document for somebody. You can add as many line items as you need. There's no limit. It will recalculate that. So let's say it was 25, 30, 30, you know, whatever, and it'll get you up to 100. So you can actually build this out however you need to. And then you can actually email it directly to your client from inside of Notary Assist. You can also build out templates. Oh, I can't do it from here. I thought maybe I could get there, but I can get, I'll show you a template. Now, what do I mean by templates? Well, if you add an appointment and let's say you're going to go see the Jones family, I'm going to send an email to confirm that appointment. I might also send an email reminding them of that appointment, but then I also might send an email asking them to review me so that my business can generate revenue because they said I did a good job. It's also a great way for me to stay in touch with my signer. So it's constantly touching. So you can create as many templates as you would like. So if you're sending something on a regular basis that has the same information, think of it this way. For my Ron people, each platform that you use has a slightly different flow. You might actually generate an email letting your client know what to expect. Hi, my name is Jane. I am going to be your notary on this day at this time for this transaction. We are going to be utilizing blank platform. This will require you to upload X, Y, Z. You can think about how detailed you might want to get. You might now be able to create an inventory of templates for all the different platforms that you use. Now you can confidently send a confirmation email to your signer to prep them for the appointment. Super easy. You just, if you already have them, you can copy them, paste them in here. And we give you the templates so that it's like a mail merge. Back, back in the day, you just say, hi. And then you can say signer's first name. <laughs> And you build it out. You just so you just have to tailor it. You you get the body of the information, drop it in the body here, and then you sub out the fields that you want automatically populated. Then you save it. Done. And now all you have to do is send one click so that your client is notified. You can send a reminder. You can send a review link. You can drop a review link right in here, and that's clickable. So when they get that. Now they click it, it makes it super easy for them to give you a review. They've clicked it, boom, it comes up right to your Google My Business page. Or if you have a QR code, drop that QR code right in this and let them scan it. Boom, get those reviews, go. <laughs> so you can actually make so many things happen inside a Notary Assist. How does this help the Ron? I'm trying to give you back time and hours in your day. Don't recreate the wheel, make it work for you instead of against you. Save time. At the end of the year, you're going to do your reports 
You're going to see all the different reports that we have. We're going to know who hasn't paid us. We're going to know who 1099 us. We're going to be able to reconcile our 1099 with our income report. It's going to be broken down by customer, which is exactly what you get in the mail or if you get it in an email. So now you can see AMROC uh, 1099 me for $1,000. Well, that, what does my book say? I'm going to go to AMROC and I'm going to look at all the events that Amrock paid me for. So now you'll be able to see who paid you. And yes, okay, I, I did get $1,000. That's great. Or if it's not, you can call them to reconcile it. Or why is it off? Is it because you marked it paid in one year, but they marked it paid in a different year? All these things are important when you're reconciling for tax time so that you can be confident that you're filing the right tax amount. We have a ton of settings and a, tons, a ton of ways that you can... Um, customize your, your appoint, your, your book of business. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> In general, here's where you're going to see, do I want to do Ron? If you're not a Ron, just turn it off. I don't do it. Nope. I don't do it. But if I do, yes, I want those on. If I do in-person, great. Confirmations. Do you want to be, have, do you want to have a reminder for confirmations? Have I confirmed this appointment? Have I confirmed that appointment? Some notaries like this, some notaries don't. It's completely here for you if you want. If you don't, just turn it off. We give you all sorts of ways to track mileage. If you're going somewhere that, like I said, to go get pins, or if you're going to a networking event, you add those extra miles right here. For my RON notaries, you're not going to be doing a lot of RON or driving for the appointment, which is all inside of each here. Inside of here, we're tracking your mileage for you. Here's your mileage right here. Okay, but it's telling you this one was a remote online. So there's no more, there's no mileage there. So you can track your appointment mileage over here and all your extra miles are going to be right here. And don't forget about those little things like taking your oath of office, like going to a networking event, like collaborating with another notary and having a meetup and, and brainstorming about how you can network or how you can uh, market a little bit better. But feel free to go through all these tools, all these trackings. We track, we, we connect with Google Calendar. We connect with iCal. We help you um, build out. This is your tracking list. So if you want to add all your different tracking lists, or if you want to say, I left this with my client, I returned these to escrow, you can build these out however you want. Each notary assist um, account is just as unique as its owner. I, I've seen Notary Assist used completely different ways from the way that we designed it, but it works for their client. So it's very easy to use, but I wanna say one thing that sets out, stands out is that we're here for you. If you're not tech savvy, we actually publish our phone number. We And I don't know a lot of software companies that even give you a phone number anymore, but we are available at 949 713 3570. That's our office hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. We will help you navigate. Don't struggle. If you can't figure out how to generate an invoice, call us. We'll walk you through the few simple steps. You'll get it. It's going to be, it's very, it's got a really short learning curve so that you can get up and on your way. We don't want you hanging out in notary assist. We want you doing what you really like doing. We also offer a free trial. We don't even ask you for a credit card. I just don't like that. That's, I mean, it could be one of the craziest business decisions I've ever made, but I don't like it when somebody takes my credit card and I wind up paying for something for three months that I didn't even know I'd had or I never used. So we give you 30 days or 20 new appointments, whichever comes first. We don't even ever ask you for a credit card until you hit the subscribe now button. And that means I'm ready to pay now. So we want you to try it. We want you to check it out. We want you to enjoy it. We want you to succeed in your business. And here's the fun part. Notary Assist is only $8.99 a month or $95 for the entire year. We do this specifically because I'm a notary. It's close to my heart. I understand we are kind of pinched at the bottom of the, the totem pole. So I'm trying to give you something that's going to elevate your profession give you time back. Well, so anything else before um, I let you go? Thank you so much for just walking through the history of Notary Assist, your background, giving us the demo. I want to make sure people, if they have more questions, it sounds like the phone number as far as Notary Assist goes, if they have questions about the software, what's the Absolutely. best way they can get in touch? Yep. Just reach out. You can always visit the, the website. There's tons of information on our YouTube channel. There's our website. We have videos. We're, we're slowly building out little 
like minute tutorials. I will catch you. We have to get you back on close to tax time and get you back on. I would love it. Love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Take care. You too. Thank you. Thank you.